You're flying along and the unthinkable happens. Some form of in-flight disaster occurs. What do you do? Well, if you have one of these things behind me here, this is an airframe parachute, a ballistic parachute they're often called, you have an option that you don't have without such equipment. You're flying to the Bahamas, perhaps. I'm down here in Florida, and a flight to the Bahamas is a very pleasant thing to do. Halfway across the Bahamas, you're out of sight of land, nothing to be seen anywhere, and your engine quits. What do you do? You have an in-flight structural failure. There's something that nobody wants to anticipate, but what do you do? You have a loss of control somehow, a linkage to ailerons or elevator severs. What do you do? You're having a flight around the airport and you collide with another aircraft, a mid-air collision. What do you do? You use this kind of system right behind us and we're gonna learn more about that. I'm here at You Fly It, home to the popular Aerolite 103, but also home to Magnum Parachutes USA, reached by this easily remembered internet address. I'm Dan Johnson and I'm talking now with Dennis Carley, who is gonna explain some of the elements of these systems behind us. First of all, Dennis, what have we got here overall? I see different packages, ignoring the stuff here in the foreground. What are the three packages I see back here? That's the basically the three configurations that you can pack the canopies in. So this is called a soft pack, this is called a canister, and that's called a VLS or a vertical launch system. What you are seeing here is quite a selection of soft packs, canisters, and VLS systems that can't just be for Aerolite 103, as active as that part of the business here in Deland, Florida is. Indeed, all these systems here are for all different kinds of airplanes, different parachutes for different airplanes of different sizes and different speeds. We got here just as they'd taken inventory from Stratos 07, and they've got quite a collection for you. All right, Dennis, we've... Uh talked a little bit about all of the various elements, the rocket motor, the connectors, the straps, the activating housing. We're going to look at some individual mounting hardware, but before we look at how you actually put these on, you've got these three different units, the vertical launch system, the canister system, and the soft pack. Uh, Joe Pilot comes to you and says, I have XYZ airplane. Mm -hmm. What do you go about What's the process to tell him what or her, what they need in order to mount one of these systems? Well, not just to mount it, but to decide which is the right system for them. There must be some criteria. Tell me about that. Uh, yeah, there are. There are two basic criteria. What's the weight of your aircraft and what's its VNE? Indeed, weight and speed are the two main criteria. The speed of the airplane deals with how the canopy has to open, and you notice here the black ring that you see, that's an annular ring parachute, sometimes called a slider, which prevents the canopy from opening too fast if the speeds are high. That's one of the important criteria they test for. You can always, you can always talk yourself out of buying one, but if you want to make your plane, whatever model plane that is, as safe as possible, a parachute on there in conjunction with all of the other stuff you do to fly safely is a certainly a great addition. I really appreciate your watching. Come back soon.